waiting for the data to arrive with the sequence number 0. So, first packet is with the sequence number 0. So, upon receiving, he is uh, calling he is calling the function RDT send. So, that means what message has just arrived. He will now create a packet this time. So, what is the packet with the sequence number 0? He will add a checksum to the data and that created packet will be sent to the below layer network layer. So, same as RDT 2.1 only. Okay, you can see. And now, after sending the packet, he will move to the new state and what is that new state now we will wait for the acknowledgement to arrive this time which acknowledgement is expecting is expecting the positive acknowledgement for the packet with sequence number zero so if he is receiving a packet and if that received packet is a corrupted packet corrupted packet means what uh, receiver is receiving a garbled acknowledgement. Garbled acknowledgement means he is not able to understand the acknowledgement, whether it is positive acknowledgement or uh, negative acknowledgement, right? So, uh, the receiver is receiving a corrupted acknowledgement here. Uh, sorry, this is one condition. There is one more condition what the receiver is checking. What is that? If the received acknowledgement is uh, a wrong acknowledgement. What is the meaning of wrong acknowledgement? Instead of is NAK, here the condition is rewritten. What, how, how was it written? Is ACK, positive acknowledgement only you have received. But this time you are expecting ACK0. Instead of ACK0, what you have received? The ACK packet with X sequence number 1. This is a wrong sequence number. What is the meaning of that? It is the negative acknowledgement that you are receiving for the packet with the sequence number 0. So, what is that condition you are checking here? If you are, this is a negative condition, okay? If you are receiving the packet and if that received packet is a corrupted packet, one condition or if this is corrupted, or any one should be true or if the received acknowledgement is not the expected acknowledgement. So, what is expected? ACK0. But instead of that, what you are getting? ACK1. So, if any one of the condition is true here, what the receiver, sorry, this is sender, right? What the sender should do? Nothing. He has to retransmit the packet with the sequence number 0. What is the meaning of that? Sender has already sent the packet with sequence number 0, but the receiver might not have received it properly. So, Thinking that receiver is not received the data properly, the sender will retransmit the packet. So, retransmission is happening here. This is a negative. There is one more positive condition, possibility. What is that? The sender is waiting for the acknowledgement. He is receiving the packet. And if the received packet is not a corrupted acknowledgement packet, that means the packet is proper, uh, containing proper data. Uh, sender is understanding that packet and uh, one more condition is if the received acknowledgement packet is uh, packet is having the sequence number 0. So, he is expecting 0 only ACK 0 and he is getting also the same acknowledgement with sequence number 0. If all three conditions are true, the meaning is sender do not have to do anything. He will simply move on to the new state. What is that? Wait for the second packet to arrive from the application layer. So, you can see wait for call 1 from above that means wait for the new packet to arrive with the sequence number one so you can see here next possibility again the same condition same as above send that particular packet add the sequence number one this time to indicate it is the second packet that you're sending add checksum also to check for the errors and then send that particular packet and then again go to the new state where he is waiting for the acknowledgement to arrive for this uh, newly sent packet with the sequence number 1. So, again you check for the negative condition there. What is that? Same as this replica. So, receive packet if it is a corrupted one or if you are receiving a negative. Negative means what? The positive acknowledgement only but with the wrong sequence number. This time ACK1 you are expecting but instead of that if you are getting ACK0 in all these cases uh, what, you are, what you are supposed to do? Retransmit the data with the uh, sequence number 1. So, retransmission is happening and the other positive condition is what? Suppose if you are receiving the correctly packet and if the correctly if the packet is not a corrupted one and if the packet uh, acknowledgement is having the sequence number 0 only, whatever, uh, sorry, uh, expected ACK1 only if you are getting, that is ACK1, in that case do nothing, go to the new state, what is that new state, wait for the new packet to arrive. So, this is with respect to the RDT 2.2 sender.
same as RDT 2.1, only difference is here. Instead of is NAK, you are using positive acknowledgement only is ACK. So, because this is a NAK free protocol, NAC free protocol. Okay. So, with respect to RDT 2.2 receiver, you can see same condition again. So, wait for the receiver, I mean wait for the call or wait for the data to arrive from the network layer. So, wait for 0. That means receive the packet and if the packet is not a corrupted one and if the receive packet has a sequence number 0, what it has to do? This was the expected packet. Extract the data out of the packet, deliver the data out to the above application layer, create a uh, yeah, create a packet for that, uh, create an acknowledgement, positive acknowledgement for this particular packet, add a sequence number 0 for this particular uh, acknowledgement. So, you can see here, sequence number is added. This is a new thing done by the receiver here, which is different from RDT 2.1. So, create an acknowledgement for packet, but along with that, add a new sequence number also. So, since packet has a sequence number 0, ATK also should have the sequence number 0 and add the checksum as usual and then send that particular data. So, once this is done, go to the new state at the receiver side. Wait for the next packet to arrive with the sequence number 1. So, here you can see again the negative condition that is to be checked. Receive the packet at the receiver side, but if it is corrupted packet or if the packet has a other sequence number, what is that? Duplicate. So, if it has a sequence number uh, 1 instead of 0, if it has a sequence number 1, imagine that particular packet has a duplicate 1. So, what, is, what the receiver has to do? Create a positive acknowledgement only, but this time the sequence number that is sending, so send it properly. So, ACK1 only you are sending because you have just received the packet to the sequence number, sorry, 1. So, ACK1 checksum and then retrans uh, sorry transmit this particular packet with the acknowledgement 1. So, what is it indicating? The receiver has not received, uh, I mean he has not accepted that particular data, but he has sent the positive acknowledgement only. That means the receiver has discarded this particular packet. So, sender will understand with the help of the sequence number. So, you can see here this is a positive condition for the next packet. You can see uh, if the next packet received, if it is a corrupted and if it has a other sequence number other than sequence number 1. In that case, the receiver should retransmit the packet and how is that retransmitting the packet done? Uh, sorry, if he is receiving the corrupted packet, what the receiver should do? If he is receiving corrupted packet, he has to send a negative acknowledgement. But here negative acknowledgement is not there. So, he has to create a packet, acknowledgement packet, positive only, but instead of uh, writing the... Uh, 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 I'm sorry, I guess I missed out something. Uh, if he is receiving the corrupted packet or if it has a received packet as a sequence number 0, uh, all that he has to do is, uh, uh, yeah, re the receiver has to notify back to the sender about this corruption, right? So, what is he doing? He will prepare a positive acknowledgement only, but this time he will add a wrong sequence number. What is that wrong sequence number? If he suppose, suppose if he writes here ACK, comma 1 as a sequence number, what is the meaning of that? He is sending a positive acknowledgement for the newly received uh, newly received packet. See the packet what is receiving this time is has a, is having the sequence number what? Sequence number 1. So, here if we receive, if we specifies ACK comma 1, that means he is correctly sending the acknowledgement for the received packet. But since he has received the packet which is a corrupted one or uh, the packet uh, yeah, what he has received instead of sequence number 1, if he has received sequence number 0, that means he has to add the acknowledgement number that is the wrong sequence number or you can say ACK0 should be sent which indicates it is a negative acknowledgement what the receiver is sending. Right, and this is the negative condition. Positive condition is what the receiver is receiving the packet and packet, and it is not a corrupted one. And if he is received the correct sequence number, also has sequence number one. In that case, what is it supposed to do? Extract the data out of it, uh, deliver that data to the above layer, and positive acknowledgement you send. A C K comma one indicates it's the positive acknowledgement sent for this particular received packet, and uh, that is how it is doing. So see here has sequence number zero. That means what if he is receiving Giving any negative, uh, I mean the packet with the wrong sequence number, in that case a wrong acknowledgement only should be sent. Wrong, how are you writing the wrong acknowledgement or negative acknowledgement? Has, uh, sorry, ACK comma 0 instead of ACK comma 1 positive acknowledgement, right, use the other sequence number ACK comma 0 which indicates it is a negative acknowledgement. So, this is how you are going to write the conditions for RDT 2.2 receiver which is same as RDT 2.1 but only thing is here NAK concept is ruled out. NAK 
it's a nac free protocol okay so that is the main thing about your rdt's uh, rdt 2.0 we had started with rdt 2.0 then rdt 2.1 rdt 2.2 uh, sorry we had started with rdt 1.0 perfect reliable channel and then we moved on to rdt 2.0 then rdt 2 rdt 2.0 was taking only for the corrupted data rdt 2.1 was uh, the one which uh, wherein uh, sequence number was added along with the checksum and the rdt 2.2 is the one where you have uh, NAK concept rolled out, RDT 2.2, right? So 